Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to QA Saturday. QA Saturday is a weekly series I run on my channel where I answer your questions about a variety of subjects, usually centered around the next update coming to Minecraft on the console. We're currently calling that next big update, TU45 or TU46, and a lot of these questions are about that, but some are about life and the universe in general. And all of these questions did come in from last week's QA section. So if you want to leave a question for next week, leave it in the comments down below or follow me at IBX Toy Cat. We'll occasionally tweet out and ask for your questions there. So with that said, I hope you do all enjoy this week's QA. If you do all like it, let me know because it helps out the channel and lets me do like this kind of weekly opportunity to respond to some comments. I know I only get to 10 comments a week and there's some people like, ah, that's not enough. But yeah, hopefully you'd all enjoy it anyway. And with that said, the background gameplay is going to be off the Let's Play world because I want to prepare for the Let's Play for your anniversary. I think it would be really cool as if I finished off the sugarcane farm and did like a semi-world tour or something. I, know I haven't decided entirely, but that's what I'm preparing for with all of this dirt that you see me collecting at the start. So with that said, let's get straight into the first question, which comes in from Matthew Vardis, who says, Hi Toy Cat, I have two questions. One, how come in all your of Q&A videos, your audio is delayed. Two, do you think that an ar arachnid themed boss for Minecraft is a good idea, slash would you like to see one? Just to finally give Vayner Vard for the use. So, first question, how come in your Q&A videos your audio is delayed? I assume he means the game audio, and the problem with this is um, basically, uh, randomly, my Elgato, maybe like one in ten times, will just delay the audio massively. For no per perceivable reason, I've tried fixing it, I've got a new one, I've done all this stuff, it doesn't work, so I need to like try uninstalling and reinstalling Windows at this point, because nothing else will work. Um, so yeah, that's something I'm trying to fix as hard as I can, but it just randomly happens and there's no way for me to fix it so sorry about that anyone that's been bothered by that but I again I hate it when just random order issues happen and there's nothing I can do about that as much as I'm trying and again I'm gonna have to reinstall windows at some point which is a net mess but it's what I'm gonna have to do so that's that's how I'm gonna fix that but right now it just happens it's like oh well that sucks and two do you think the reactive theme boss from Minecraft is a good idea slash would you like to see one uh, just to give Bane of Farth Pods a use so uh, yeah I think an arachnid theme boss would be a really cool idea because right now Bane of Farth Pods exist as a weakness to what silverfish Endermites and spiders. And Silverfish and Endermite might can be killed with a one hit from a diamond sword anyway. So it really is just for spiders. And how often are you ever like, oh, spiders are so dangerous, better get an enchantment just for them? Realistically, never. So yeah, basically, I think it would be cool to have a spider boss just so you had a cool use for that enchantment. And maybe make it just like, you know, one in every thousand spiders will spawn as a giant spider or that. I know, come up with some cool idea. I would love to see a fourth boss mob and I would love to see a use for Bane and Bath Prod. So good idea, Matthew Vardis. But yeah, with that said though, let's move on to the next question, which comes in from Ballistic Fur. 36 guy gaming who says oh ballistic guy 36 gaming who says do you like Doritos if not what is your favorite chip slash crisp so what are my favorite crisps um I, at first I was thinking like it might just be Doritos because Doritos are solid I know there's the typical like oh gamers play, eat the Doritos and play the games but it, it's true that they're, they're good stuff have you ever tried some of the flavor yeah they're, it's good stuff so uh yeah Doritos are probably my favorite like traditional crisp but my favorite like crisp like thing is actually uh, okay this sense gonna sound ridiculous and you might even know what I'm saying but they're called poppadoms right so they're, they're it's an Indian and snack it's usually goes with like curries and stuff I think but you can get like miniature poppadoms so like the size of like a regular size crisp in bags and it's basically a crisp except not really but it's so delicious if you have them anywhere nearby try them they're the best and uh, that's my favorite crisp slash chip it's 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 good stuff so many poppadoms would recommend in the UK at least you can buy them in stores in miniature bags for like 40p it's great it's great anyway that said let's move to the next question which comes in from player one who says mini game next month and 1.9 slash 1.10 in December this wasn't a very good question I'll be honest but it was like a prediction and I just wanted to kind of say I really think I don't I, I, I really think that's not too likely because um basically you know we're, we're towards the end of the year and they need to you know work on whatever they're working on next I think 1.9 or 1.10 would be amazing by the end of the year but it just seems a tiny bit unlikely because the big uh, problem with getting so much done at this time of year is after Christmas after like December the you know 15th or 20th or something uh, they, they're not in the office until January something which means there's like three weeks where if there's bugs they can't be fixed they have to spend extra time bug fixing it they have to really make sure there's no game breaking bugs like suddenly oh guess what your Xbox 360 saves are deleted stuff like that they need to make sure are not in there and to get a mini game done and then in one month go from okay bug fix the mini game to okay all of 1.9 and 1.10 is done seems really unrealistic to me so if you're expecting both those things I would say expect one or the other I'm not sure which to expect we have no idea yet I think we'll see some hints in the coming weeks but for now uh, yeah I don't know what to expect and I wouldn't expect both though especially not in that time frame play at once so yeah that's it let's move to the next question which comes in from Jade Wilson slash Claws Longtay who says hashtag QA, what are you afraid of? So I, I took this to mean like what are you irrationally afraid of? Because like I don't know, I'm scared of like 
a financial crisis or like you know this is one of the volcanoes in in america erupting and covering the world and so or, you know the stuff that's like relatively normal piece for it off but like as far as like irrational fears which is what i assume the question's about um i think my biggest one is either like spiders because again really not a big fan of any bugs in real life or it might just be um water because i know most people like to w- water is just like oh yeah it's a thing i, I don't want to fall in it but that's fine but whenever i walk across a bridge i might as well be cr- walking across lava because if you don't know i can't swim I, I know i really should be up to swim but i i can't swim it's one of those uh things about me that i'm not very good with so i can't swim and that means if i fall into water realistically it's it's death it's like lava except it doesn't kill me instantly i have to like wait for three minutes and contemplate what went wrong in my life and it's like that's terrifying i don't want to fall in water so every time i go over any bridge it's just like oh geez oh geez all it takes is one person to push me and it's all over now or like down, down by a river and stuff like that see I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit rationally afraid of water i can for the most part like control it and not like visibly shake or anything but like my mind is just always like i could die i could die i could die and it's, it's not good it's not good so that's why i'm rationally afraid of personally um and uh maybe that was the answer you're looking for or maybe you expect me to say like ghosts and I, i'm not really scared of ghosts honestly so yeah that's the answer to your question let's move on to the next one which comes in from tay bayer oh it's bayer I th- yeah it's bayer so uh hi, hi toy cat your videos are amazing thank you very much by the way um but do you think custom world sizes are coming to last gen consoles ps3 slash xp360 um no because the the world sizes came to the xbox one and ps4 as like a way to use um the more power those consoles offered it was going to be infinite on those but for some reason at the last minute like save size limitations kind of came into play and uh, although that is a bummer it is something that was kind of the case and they're definitely not coming to last gen because basically last gen is going to get harder and harder to keep the current stuff going let alone to add new stuff like they couldn't be like oh yeah we've upgraded the graphics on that because again like they, every single update they've got to really push the strain and it was something i i, I spoke to um one of the 4j st- team i don't know if i want to say which one but i, I speaking to one of the guys who works on 4j and the updates every time and it was like yeah every single update a big chunk of what we have to do is work on the optimizations just to keep those consoles running at the level they are so if uh, as far as like improvements like that like custom world sizes i really don't think it's too likely that just suddenly like oh yeah what's going to happen is they're going to increase the world size and that's just because you know they're they're 10 no no, they're 11 year old consoles now or 10 and 11 years old consoles and uh you gotta think like a 10 year old pc what do you expect from that do you what do you expect from a 10 year old phone they they weren't they they weren't even smartphones 10 years ago so yeah it's it's been a really long time since they came out and that's why you can't push too much more out of them so that's the answer question maybe it was boring maybe it wasn't the one you expected maybe she just said yeah sure why not but that's not the answer that is the true one so let's move to the next question which comes in from zach plays who says Hashtag q a Hey, Toy Cat, which item slash block slash mobs are you most excited for? Chorus Fruit, Elytra, End Rods, Shulkers, or New Boats? So, they're all features that would be coming if the 1.98 update came to console, just in case you're curious. Uh, as far as which of those five I'm most excited for, because I assume he's like... I, I, I don't think he'd give me a list if he wanted me to just pick one that wasn't on there. So, uh, out of those five, I'd probably say I'm most excited for the Elytra. I've seen some really cool things you can do with the Elytra, because one, you're flying anyway, but two, if you hit yourself with arrows in midair, you can kind of fly infinitely. And something I really want to try out and like make it again it'd be a cool tutorial like a video so yeah that's um that's why i'm most excited for out for those five probably the elytra shulkers are cool bolts are really cool uh chorus fruit is eh, and end rods are pretty okay but elytra is i'd like this amazing game-changing thing I, I just want to fly over everything so i think i might even start setting up right soon like this giant like place so i can fly from one end of the world to the other because that would be such a cool idea right but yeah anyway uh elytras are the most exciting thing in that update out of the ones you listed so let's move into the next question which comes in from matthew ganaway who says when the new end comes do you think they will make a reset end feature for the old world so uh based on the fact that uh, so many people have asked it like you know minecon alone i think two people asked it uh, i think they probably will if it's going to be the sort of thing that won't be available on old end so yeah will they add a reset end feature almost certainly i think now it used to be like oh we don't really know but now that they know that everyone wants it i think it would be weird for them not to so yeah let's move to the next question which comes in from denver stewart who says do you plan on playing the legend of zelda breath of the wild brackets in general so i assume it means not on the channel but just are you gonna be playing it uh yes i will be i have a wii u over here it's a real bummer that it's gonna be available for the uh nintendo X or the nx or whatever it is uh because like oh i bought a console that now doesn't even have a use but yeah i will be playing it it will be great fun and i'm looking forward to it it, it looks really cool so far uh, but i probably won't be playing it on youtube because nintendo claim all their youtube games so just no advertising for you uh, nintendo i guess uh realistically i might be playing it on mob crush there's a chance about that and uh 
yeah, that's, I, I, I want to stream it, I want to do something with it, but if I have to just play it by myself, I'm more than happy with that, because it's going to be one of the greatest games of the year it comes out in, because Legends of Zelda games, they're always great. So, yeah, let's move to the next question, which comes in from Anish Reddy, who says, Hi, Toy Cat, what is your favourite airline? That's an interesting question. Oh, that's our travel one for this week, I guess. And can you ask, uh, make some more update videos on Minecraft? They are the best. Um, I make update videos on Minecraft whenever there's stuff to make them about. Uh, a lot of people are always like, hey, can you make more update news? And it's like... I, how, how do you, ex do you expect me to make the news? I, but yeah, I, I try to make Minecraft news uh, videos whenever there's something like notable about it, and I make the feature previews whenever an update is like, seeming like it's on the horizon, and it doesn't seem that way yet for 1.10, I'll let you know, you'll see the videos when it does seem like it's that way, and then we'll continue the series from last time, where the update, because again, the update we thought would be coming out, uh, you know, th those videos are still valid for the next update, so I've got like, you can watch feature previews on what is going to be now the next update, this is getting confusing. So let's just answer the main question there, which which is, uh, what is your favorite airline? And I'm assuming yours is British Airways because you've got their profile picture. That's like some dedication to an airline. Like, uh, no, 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 but yeah, I fly, I fly a decent amount. I've flown maybe like 30 times this year so far. Something ridiculous like that uh, because, you know, that's how you travel places these days. But yeah, so um, what is my favorite airline from all of those travels? Honestly, most of the time I fly, it has been with, I think, like a mixture of Ryanair, Wizz Air, and like um, uh, Norwegian, honestly. And uh, I, although a lot of people like kind of trash those and say, oh, I would never fly of anything but... British Airways or Air France or um, whatever your equivalent is but the honest thing is is whenever I fly with those better airlines and I'm like because it costs maybe like two or three times the cost for the same ticket basically uh, because sometimes you have to to get the time you need or to get whatever I'll be like okay then I'm gonna fly a British Airways it's gonna be such a nice flight so I flew from like Finland to um, London again with British Airways and it was like oh it's exactly the same like relatively uncomfortable seat and uh, the only difference is midway through the flight there'll be like a person that like it can brings you a sandwich a really low quality sandwich by the way and like i think it was a glass of orange juice again really really bad orange juice it was like some of the worst orange juice that ever had like it's the watered down stuff so at the point where it like basically tastes like squash i can name the brand and it's like the cheapest one you can buy it's not even available at a lot of supermarkets because it's that like cheap it's like why you, you're meant to be the premium choice that people are like all happy to go with because they're business travelers and you're giving me watered down orange juice is, is was the orange juice too much british airways was was the three times the ticket price not enough for you to afford the good orange juice that's that's my opinion on like high quality uh, airlines. You you pay a whole bunch more and you get literally nothing for it because you don't even get like baggage for free anymore. Like it used to be that was the big sell. Like if you have baggage, you might as well not go right now. No no no. If you if you have baggage, then it's 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 you still have to pay extra. And it's like I cannot work out a single extra benefit besides they have slightly better time, so it's slightly better airports, but you pay several times more, and I I don't get it. So yeah, it was my favorite airline. I especially oh by the way, uh, so Norwegian is my favorite airline because they do long distance low cost. So it's like the Ryanair medal, but for long distance. I've never paid more than like $200 for an airfare ticket, including going to um, London to LA, by the way, which is something that costs literally several times that. With other, like it, was, it was double that with even the cheapest other alternative. And it's like, I am more than willing to go, go to the airport shop, buy myself a cheap sandwich and some good orange juice, not even the cheap stuff for like, you know, five pounds or something and save several hundred dollars. That, that's, that's my personal opinion. I know some people might think that it's worth spending double just to, you know, not have to buy your own sandwich. <laughs> I don't know. That, okay, I, I don't get it. Maybe it's just a revolution that hasn't happened yet and people don't realize that like low fare airlines aren't as bad as they seem. Or maybe I am just more willing to put up with whatever bad pe things that like people don't even spy. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'll just say that, yeah, I, my, my favorite airline is Norwegian because they're low cost, but they'll still be like nice and friendly to you. And like they, they, they'll they give you a pen or some juice or something if you want it. And uh, I, I don't know. I, I have never had a single benefit of going with British Airways besides cheap orange juice. God damn it. Anyway, with that said, let's move to the final question. <laughs> I, 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 I was, it was like, oh, this, this is going to be a short Q&A this week, and then I, and I had to rant about British Airways, apparently, uh, which comes in from Froshy, Froshy Fresh, who says they need to add a level-up system and stats. Um, so I assume that uh, that's uh, in response to battle mode and tumble. The reason they haven't done that, and they said this, I think it was very specifically at Minecom, is because they want the game to be, uh, a battle and stuff, to be like friendly, fun minigames. Once they add stats, there's like a competitive element to it, but what I think the easy, uh, the easy kind of compromise there is make it so casual 
no stats, no ranking, no anything like that. Have fun, do your stuff. Make it so competitive, versions of both games, or even just for battle, has the level up and has it so that you can unlock stuff. Or I just feel like anything like that would be really cool, and I'd like to see that personally, but I don't think they're going to do it. So, yeah, as cool as uh, level up system and stats would be, uh, they really, uh, most people who play uh, Minecraft mini games, maybe according to their stats, maybe not, are playing it casually just because, oh, uh, yeah, let's have some fun, and maybe they don't want to make it too serious. But, yeah, with that said, I hope you did all enjoy this week's Q&A Saturday. If you did all like it, like it and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like the Q&As. Share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching, and in case you're wondering, yes, it was entirely worth it to go past the length of the gameplay just so I could rant about British Airways and their really low-quality orange juice. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.